Hello. Oh. Hello everyone, it's Kay here. I've just come on to share a little something with you that has caught my attention and as it is with me, if something catches my attention I have to have a try and see how these things work and how they come together. So what I'd like to introduce you to is this. And it's made essentially from a sellotape cast of a court shoe and this is it in its finished stage so I've got a lot of flowers I've got some lace in the front to hide the workings down towards the toe I've got some very little pretty bits and pieces to decorate up I'll just move it around very slowly so that you can see there's lace all around the aperture to the shoe a little bit of detail on the back, just three little flat back heart shaped um, film crews directing me, sorry ladies and gentlemen, um, three little flat back pearls here just to keep everything in order. I've made a faux sole courtesy of the film crew who measured it out and I just tried them very hard to put it all together. I've used um, PVA glue, a paper napkin, just the top layer, the decorative layer of the paper napkin and Mod Podge to seal and add a little bit of a luster to what would be the leather of the shoe and I'm actually quite pleased with it but to fill you in a little bit on how it works if I put it to the side I don't know which is the best side to put it from. If I leave it there for you, it's ultimately malleable. You wouldn't be able to wear it, obviously. I started with a court shoe. I then followed a video on how to cast the shoe in sellotape by a young Irish lass who has a channel on YouTube and her channel is the Ultimate Variety Channel and she shows you how to apply um, cling film to the shoe making sure that this kind of angle is dressed very I've had to borrow this shoe by the way ladies this is not something that I in my wildest dreams could get my feet into since I've had all the surgery on my ankle but I needed to borrow this to get the right look for the shoe. When you start you just use the shoe as your template and you once you've put your cling film on it just keep applying piece after piece of ordinary sellotape preferably something with a bit of body to it. You don't want anything that's too cheap and without something that's going to build nicely. This is the template and initial cast from the shoe. You can't overdo it because you actually need to make strategic cuts, which the film crew has done for me. And essentially it's a cut just on the side there another cut on the side there and that then allows you to peel off the essence of the shape from the shoe and then after multiple multiple layers of more sellotape you end up with this sturdy little structure here and it really is obviously it won't, won't take any weight but it really is sturdy the only flexible bit is where you would actually put your foot into the shoe the heel is good although hollow and that gives you then your platform to decorate using PVA as I've already said I've used um, a napkin I've tried to keep the shoe true to its shape I've put a little bit of lace around it just to formulate an area that is easily decorated. If you look inside, I've also, to try and hide all the workings of the shoe, I've put a little lace, a couple of layers of lace, essentially one of the um, stitched 
flowers, the lace flowers, a double layer, so I can put that in and just hide it away and hide all the um, metal stems and so on from all the flowers. I've put more flowers on the in, inner aspect of the heel just to hide the workings again because I've actually padded up the inside of the shoe with just ordinary kitchen paper um, and then Gary made a template for me that I could just anchor down the inner aspect or inner sole of the shoe to make it look tidy and pleasing to the eye which I hope I've achieved. I hope you find this inspirational. This is quite a current trend. I am very much into um, new things as you know and will give everything a try and I'm delighted to say that it actually works quite well and I would defy anybody just looking at it on camera to tell me that, you know, apart from the colours and so on of the napkin, to tell me that it is not in actuality a shoe. There are numerous, numerous shoes on Facebook at the moment in the book folding group that I belong to. Uh, I understand a separate page for this kind of thing is very much in the offing. So I hope I've tickled your taste buds and made you feel as if you might like to try it. Happy crafting everyone. I've got to now return the shoe that I've borrowed to the lady who's doing a good impression of Hopalong Cassidy with one foot on and one foot off. Happy crafting. Take care everyone. Bye bye.